Hey guys, and welcome back to my video or welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging today. Today is Wednesday and I have a few errands to run. I have to go to Walmart. I have to go sell some of the kids stuff that don't fit them anymore. I wanna stop by Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee. And then I'm thinking about doing a shop with me at Hobby Lobby because it's right across the street from the place I'm gonna sell the kids stuff. So I'm not sure if I will do it in this vlog do like a shop with me in this vlog or I will do it in a separate video, but we will see if I even go to Hobby Lobby. And then once I get back home, I wanna clean up the house a little bit, get a head start because on Friday we have some friends coming in town to visit us for a few days. So probably clean up the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom. And then what else do we have today? Not sure what else we have planned for today, but that's what I'm about to start doing. But I wanna show you guys my outfit of the day before I head out the door. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys so can see. So this is my outfit of the day, another super casual outfit. So my jeans are from H&M. My shoes are from Target. They are the Threshold brand. My super cute shirt that I am in love with, it says, but first Hocus Pocus. This is from Target. And then I just have like a cardigan over it because it is a little cool outside today. So I just threw a gray cardigan over. And this is from Walmart. It's their Time and True brand. And then as far as jewelry, I just have these earrings on that are also from Walmart. They're just gold. And then this necklace, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's probably from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure because it is old, but I think it's from Walmart. But that is my outfit of the day. So we're gonna head out and run some errands. Here's Madison. And as you guys can see, she took out her headband from her hair. Madison, it looked so cute. Hey, can I have that battery? Thank you. Can I have it? Thank you. So I had this really cute headband on her hair, but she never keeps it in her hair. She was screaming, she tore it off. So I guess I'm gonna have to put your hair up in a ponytail. Can you say hi? See, I tore it out my hair. You ready to go bye-bye? Let's go. Okay guys, so I am so mad at myself. So I drove all the way over here. It's the old side of town that I used to live on. And I completely forgot to put the box in my car of things that I want to sell for the kids. So I drove over here for nothing because now I can't sell the kids clothes. And I was planning on going to Hobby Lobby for the shop with me while um, I waited for the stuff to be sold it usually takes like 20 30 minutes so i was going to run across the street to hobby lobby but now it's a change of plans i guess i'll have to sell the kids clothes on another day that i can remember to put the box in the car but i did just pull up to walmart so i'm still gonna go to walmart i still need to grab a few things and i might go into a dollar tree as well because it's in the same plaza and i want to pick up a few more things from dollar tree for some diys so I'll probably go to Dollar Tree here in Walmart. I will vlog a little bit in Walmart as long as it's not too um, packed. But yeah, that's what we're about to do. So I thought I would just update you guys to let you guys know I forgot the box. But Madison's in a, she's in a good mood and then she's mad, good mood and then she's mad. But right now she's happy, right? And I did pick up my Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm now going to head inside and see what they have. I know a lot of people have been showing that they have been pulling out a lot of Christmas stuff, so I'm super excited to see what they have out. Don't think I'll buy anything today, but I'll probably come back another day and go shopping for Christmas stuff. But you ready to go inside, honey? Are you ready to go inside? Okay, let's go. We are in Walmart and Time and True, the brand that I really like from Walmart, they have a lot more um, winter stuff out that they didn't have before when I came like this sweater here I'll show you guys so this is a really cute sweater and it has like pockets on the side and then i really like this like sweater shirt comes in a bunch of different colors but this is a sweater shirt super cute and it has like detailing on the side and it comes in a bunch of different colors and comes in like a navy blue burgundy that blush color and like a mustard yellow they're 16.94 um, but I'm not gonna pick it up because I just bought a bunch of stuff, even though I really like this color. I might come back for them another day. I just bought a lot of like other clothing that, the link will be down below. I should have my fall try on haul already, but I just want to show you guys those things. And then I also really want to try on their jeans. I won't do it today because Madison probably won't let me, she's cranky, but I really like their um, like leggings that kind of look like jeans. They also have these like jeggings. 
Comment down below if you guys have ever tried a Time and True brand like jean jeggings. I want to try those. Those are $17.84, but that is not what we are here for. So I'm going to go pick up the stuff that we need. I do like this. We also have these like thicker sweaters that are really pretty. I need to get a black one for myself sometime because I don't really have a black one. All my black ones are faded, but they have it in like different colors. I really like this one over here, this color. That one's nice have a lot of their jewelry on sale like on clearance right now for really good prices so these are really great like christmas present ideas like to pick up now and save for christmas so i'm going to show you guys everything that they have at my walmart on sale they have like earrings bracelets necklaces and stuff like that so i'm going to show they you have guys. on clearance as you guys can see it has like a bunch of yellow stickers a bunch of really cute stuff so i'm going to show you guys the necklaces and like these are a really good deal four dollars and you get a set so you have like the earrings a really pretty necklace i actually really like this for myself and they have it in a different color like a pink color with a pink necklace and that's also four dollars and then you have it oh they have it in a bunch of different colors so they have it like in this like turquoise color and then purple super cute they have a different design right here and they also have more up here that are really pretty as well and then like a bunch of earrings so I like earrings like this but I can barely wear them because they're always heavy on my ear but this is everything that they have like these are only two dollars guys that's such a great deal for two dollars these are really cute as well as these I like these so yeah check out Walmart for clearance jewelry so we are now in the christmas section and they have a few aisles full of christmas stuff we also need to buy a christmas tree this year because our christmas tree from last year we got rid of because it was really old and all of like the little needles were falling off so i really want a flocked christmas tree this year so i don't know if i'll be able to convince my husband for that but i want to show you guys this is really cute i'm thinking about getting my sister this ornament the thing is i don't know if i got it for her last year i know i got her a sister ornament last year i don't know if this was it but it's so cute it's only 3.98 and it says sister and then in the back it says share childhood memories and grow up dreams and then you can put to and from and then it has a year don't think i got her this one i think i got her there's some over here i think i got her one of these i'm pretty sure i got her one of these okay so i don't see the sister one but i see a mom one but they had one last year for sisters i got her one like that I think I got one for my grandma as well. And these are only um, $2.97. They have a bunch of different ones. They have ones for friends, mom, grandmas. So yeah, those are super cute. But I'm gonna show you guys everything that they have out. I'm so tempted to buy everything. I really like these as well. I like to get a letter for all of us, like me, Ryan, Robert, Madison, and put on the Christmas tree. But it's really hard to put like glass ornaments on the tree because of Madison. So. Yeah, oh man, also, I really want to get new stockings, but I want to put the letters in the stockings, so these are only 98 cents. I think I might get some of these. I don't know if I should get it now or later, and then and then get some just like plain stockings to glue it on, something maybe like this, I don't know, and then glue the letters on top, I don't know, we'll see what we're going to do, but I'm going to show you guys everything that they have. Pretty much everything that they have, they have another aisle, but can't believe Christmas stuff is already out you guys I want to buy so much but I'm not gonna do it I'll probably pick up like I told you guys some of these because I do want to kind of do a DIY um little stocking for us but all of the ornaments I was telling you guys these are $3.98 so this one says our family has grown by two feet this is the one I want to get for my sister. It says sisters. And then they have one for dad. Baby's first Christmas. This would be really cute for my niece. Maybe I should get that one for my niece as well. And there's a grandma one. So there's a bunch of different really cute ones. These are the ones that I want to get for us as a family. But I don't know if I should get like one letter each for like each of us. Or if I should just get an S for our last name. I don't know. But... And they have a lot of ornaments. I bought some ornaments last year when they went on clearance. Not sure what color. I think I got like rose gold and gold. 
And then these are the other little ornaments. I was telling you guys these are a little bit cheaper, $2.97. So this one says only the moms are promoted to grandmas. They have a friend's one. They have that one. So a bunch of really cute ones. Oh, this one's nice. You can put a picture in it. That's really cute. Are you eating snacks, honey? Are you Bye. eating so many snacks? Are you having fun shopping with mommy? I had to put my coffee all the way back there because she keeps on trying to steal it, but let's finish shopping. Bean is so cute. What are you eating? So I always have to bring her a ton of snacks to keep calm, but she looks pretty happy now eating her snacks. We are in the other aisle of Christmas stuff, so these are all the Christmas toppers. Really cute. I'm not sure if we still have our topper from last year. I'll have to check before I go buy some, but they also have these. So guys, you definitely should check out Walmart who I know Dollar Tree sells a lot of really cute stuff for a dollar like this, but these are only 98 cents. So I check your Walmart as well because you can find really cute stuff as well. That's a really good price. So these are only $4.74. Happy holidays. I'm obsessed with these little trucks. And then they have this one that says Noel Farms. Super cute. Comment down below if you guys would like me to start doing my Christmas DIYs starting in November or December. Last year, I did a bunch of um, Christmas DIYs, but I didn't start until December 1st. But let me know if you guys would like me to start it earlier this year and start doing it once we hit November. And I will start doing the houses. They're $14.94. I love those. Those are so pretty. They have a bunch of pillows too. They have a lot of metal um, decor and they have some gold ones down here. Okay, I'll get you another snack. Hold on. So they have some gold ones as well. Okay, so we just got home. We did go to Dollar Tree, but I did not vlog while we were in Dollar Tree just because there was a lot of people in there and I still don't feel completely comfortable with vlogging in public. So did not vlog in Dollar Tree, but we just got home. I just put in a pizza in the oven for me and Madison. I got this DiGiorno crispy pan pizza. So we'll see how that is. Madison loves pizza. So why not just throw something easy for lunch? It is almost new. I think it's almost noon and I still have to upload a video. I had to film the intro though because I'm horrible with filming intros and remembering that. So I had to film an intro really fast for that video. Then um, finish editing it and then upload it. Then I also want to film my fall try on haul. So look out for that. That should be up before this vlog. If it is, I will leave the link down below in the description box, but been wanting to film a fall try on haul. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So today I'm making it a mission to do that. I also need to take out some chicken. I mean to that now before I forget. I need to take out some chicken and I'm gonna let it defrost for maybe 30, 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna put it in the crock pot and then I'll also have to clean up a little bit of the house, but I'm going to go do all of that right now. And then I'll probably be time to pick up Madison, not Madison, um, Ryan from school soon. So, oh, I forgot that bag, but just want to update you guys on what we were doing. Madison, do you want some pizza for lunch? Are you ready for pizza? Pizza, can you say pizza? <laughs> okay, say bye-bye. You guys, I am so excited because I finally just received my first ever paycheck from YouTube. If you're wondering how long I have been on YouTube, I've been on YouTube for a little over a year. So I started my YouTube channel last year around Mother's Day. I think like a week before Mother's Day is when I first uploaded my first ever video to YouTube. I've always had YouTube for years and I mainly made a YouTube account just to be able to subscribe to other YouTubers that I really love to watch. And I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I was just always nervous to put myself out there and judgment. I know there's a really good side to YouTube but then there's also like that really bad side of YouTube. So I was just very hesitant and then I finally decided to put myself out there and start a channel. And I'm so glad I did because I made so many amazing friends here on YouTube. I've had so many amazing opportunities here on YouTube. So I'm glad that I started, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little bummed um, for how long it took me to just to get this first paycheck and also all the new rules that they had. So I first received my Google AdSense like pin last year when I first met the threshold and then they made all the new rules when all that drama happens and I didn't meet the new threshold, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest, I was 
pretty upset and pretty bummed when the new rules came out because I felt like I had worked so hard and then it was just like taken from me again. But then I started to think that, you know, everything is not just handed to you. You have to work really hard for what you want. And I just thought of it that way that I just had to work my butt off even more between my filming and editing and all of that to be able to get what I want, which was to get paid because my husband is the only one who works. Most of you guys know I am a stay at home mom. I do not work. I feel like being a stay at home mom is a job, but you just don't get paid for it. So any type of extra money, extra income to help with bills or groceries or just personal stuff that I want to spend money on is always great. So I am ecstatic that I finally got my first ever YouTube paycheck. Now it wasn't a lot. I mean, it wasn't hundreds or thousands of dollars. It is only my first paycheck. Like I said, I've only been on YouTube for a little bit over a year, but I got my first paycheck a few days ago. I think it was like last week I got my first YouTube paycheck and I was super excited. I know you're not allowed to um, disclose exactly how much you get paid on YouTube, or at least I've heard you're not allowed to, you can get in trouble for that. So if you're wondering how much I got paid for my first YouTube paycheck, I can't tell you the exact amount because like I said, I don't know if you can get in trouble for that. I've heard you can. I know some people share the exact amount. Some people don't because they said you can get in trouble. I'd rather play it safe and not share the exact amount. But let's just say it was under $200, but it was more than $100. And it was also a little more than what I was expecting to get for my first paycheck. I thought I was going to get much less. So the fact that I got a little more than what I was expecting, I was super excited. So yeah, I just want to share with you guys that because... I got really happy when I got my first paycheck. But anyways, um, I am now going to cut up the pizza. The pizza just got out of the oven. I'm gonna cut it up and feed me and Madison. It's already almost one o'clock. I gotta leave at two and pick up Ryan from school. I also wanna share with you guys what I got in my Ipsy bag for this month. I stopped doing my Ipsy unbagging, like my monthly ones, just because I feel like it wasn't doing very well as far as views. So I thought I would just share with you guys in this vlog. So I'll do that next and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I have a lot of cleaning to do, but I don't know if I'm gonna film it because I just wanna get it done super fast. But anyways, Madison's starting to get cranky, so I'm going to eat some pizza, and then I'll share with you guys what I got in my Ipsy bag, and then pick up Ryan from school and see where we go from there. I also want to share with you guys really fast what I got in my Ipsy bag. I probably should have recorded this somewhere else because I have Peppa Pig on for my daughter, and it's super loud. But Anyways, this is how the Ipsy bag came this month. It is a red bag and it has like this really cute mask on top. Super cute, I like it. I love the color red, so I don't mind this bag. But the things that I got in my Ipsy bag was this makeup brush and it says hashtag INM with a heart. I'm not sure, but it's a really pretty makeup brush. It looks like an eyeshadow brush, so. I'm excited to try that out. It's really soft as well. So that is the first item that I got. And then the second item I got was this Naked Cosmetics. It's like a loose powder um, eyeshadow. I feel like I'm always getting these types of eyeshadows, like the loose powder one. And I'm no makeup pro. I suck at applying makeup. So I have a ton of these and I don't know. I think I might just give this one away because I didn't open it. It's still like in the plastic. So I don't know. I'll see if one of my friends or family members want that. It's a really pretty color though. It's like a um, army green color. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a nice color. Then the next thing I received was a hydrating mask by Verb. So that's how it looks. It looks like a pearly white color. So you guys know I'm obsessed with face masks. So I'm super excited to try this one out. And it says it has no parabens, no gluten, no sulfates. So that's always good. So we'll try that out and see how that works. The next item I received was an eyeliner by the brand Ico London. Never heard of them, but that's how it looks. And the color I received is just black, liquid eyeliner in black. So that's how it looks. And again, I'm horrible when it comes to applying my eyeliner as well. That's why I rarely ever wear eyeliner because I can never get it even. I'm that person that puts the eyeliner on. I try to do it like a winged eyeliner and then one is like thicker than the other one and then I keep on going back and forth to each eye trying to get it to look even. But I did swatch it on my hand yesterday when I received it and it's very intense. So you guys can see it's a super intense black. So 
I'll still try it out on my eyes, but it's a nice eyeliner. And the last thing I received in my Ipsy bag, which is the thing that I'm most excited for, is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have been dying to try this concealer. I just couldn't see myself spending, I don't even know how much it is. I know it's an expensive um, concealer, but I just didn't want to spend full price on like the big tube and then me not end up liking it. And I did try to go to Sephora to see if they have like any travel size ones that I can buy and they did not. I asked and they said that they've never seen them like just like in the travel size ones that I can purchase. So I never bought it. So I'm so excited that I got a mini one and I got mine in medium. I'm pretty sure I need a darker color than this, but I'm still gonna try it out and see how it works. And if I like the way it works and it covers my bags and my dark circles really well, I will definitely go back out and buy, um, you know, the larger one. But yeah, that's how the wand looks like. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is my favorite item that I got in my Ipsy bag. So I'll be trying that out probably tomorrow. I was gonna try it out today and then I completely forgot to try it. But anyways, that is the last thing that I got in my Ipsy bag. So now it is 1.23. I'm going to unload the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen a little bit and probably put the chicken in the crock pot and then leave to go get Ryan from school. So. I'll probably film while I'm cleaning up the kitchen and then we'll leave. Madison is so cute, so cute. She's back there playing on her little magnetic doodle pad. What is it called? I don't know. One of those magnetic ones that you can draw on. She loves those things. I think my friend actually bought that for Ryan last year for Christmas, but she loves it. <laughs> I just finished filming my fall try and haul. So that video will definitely be up before this vlog. So I will leave that link down below. But now there is a complete disaster in my room and I'm so hot from changing super fast. I was changing in and out of clothes because I did show you guys how it looked on me. But this is the aftermath. Everything is thrown everywhere. So now I got to clean all that up and I need to get the kids. Ryan is already home from school and I need to start getting dinner ready for them and taking them a bath. So I don't know how much I'm going to vlog because I already know this vlog is already at like 23 or 24 minutes and I don't want it to be like a 40 minute vlog. So I'll probably end it now. I'll probably let Ryan talk to you guys for a little bit and then I will end it then. So I'm just going to clean all this up and I will see you guys. Okay, so it is five o'clock now I just took the kids a bath took them an early bath tonight and now Ryan needs to clean up his foam like I told him and I this is he's gonna get it and I want to play with it 
Okay, well, you're gonna have to clean some of it up because it's everywhere, okay? So Sissy won't get it. Hi, honey. Um, so I'm gonna get some food for the kids and I'm just gonna sit down and relax because I'm tired. I feel like I've been on the move all day. I have some chicken in the crock pot right now, so I need to get like a snack or something for the kids until dinner is done. But there's some chicken in here. Once it's done cooking, I'll have to shred it and then it makes some sides. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here just because like I said earlier, it was already at like 24, 25 minutes I think. And I don't want this video to be, or this vlog to be like 40 minutes long. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Ryan was only in it for a minute, but he made his appearance. Do you want to say hi to everyone before I end it? Hi and let them uh, know about school. Of uh, my my day of school was good. It was good. What did yeah. you do? I did lots of stuff. Oh yeah. What was your favorite part today? Um, my favorite part was when I can they come back home. <laughs> oh. Because Wait, I, did you eat blue ice at school today? Yeah. Mommy gave you money for it. Yeah. Good job. Thanks for listening and cleaning up. Welcome. Um, I was. I decided to play with phone later. <laughs> okay. And I, All right, guys. Um. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll probably vlog either this weekend or maybe next week. So as always, if you guys have not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video and give this vlog a thumbs up if you I enjoyed it. And now Ryan wants to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. I hope you like mommy's videos. Kisses.